Hello, this is Jennifer from Blacksmith 3D. Today I want to show you adding morphs to a hair that I've been working on. And here I've got it open in Dye Studio just to show you kind of the path of the Dye Studio, the people, Genesis 3, and then down into my folder path. So that way when I go to import it into Blacksmith 3D, it will make a little bit more sense here that here's my DAS content, my people, Genesis 3 hair, and then my file structure. And since it's a DEF file, I am able to import that in to Blacksmith 3D. And I do have a morph that I've already created before that I do want to go on and bring in, so I'm going to tell it to bring that in also. So it will bring in my morph that I've already made on top of the actual mesh and textures also. So in order to get started here, the first thing I'm going to want to do is create some display groups. And depending on how you want to do that, you can either do it from your groups or your materials or just create your own. Since I imported this in, it's usually easier to use one of these two things. And for the hair that I'm doing, I think for my purposes, I'm going to want to try and use the display groups based on groups. That way I can turn off a lot of these and just turn on certain things that I want to see one at a time or turn on other things with them but have them locked so that I can see the individual movement in some of these areas without risking moving these other parts too because right now when these things are turned off and these are locked the only thing is when I have my hair selected that I'm going to be moving are these parts down here that I have as visible. And to see what my hot selection is, anything in red is what is selected to be moved and that is this right collar. So now that I have this right side selected, I create a morph and I call it my right side adjustment morph. And I can go over here and make changes to it. And here I'm going to want to rotate it kind of up and out a little bit or away from other items, kind of move it a little bit. And then I'll use my touch up tool to kind of slowly fix any of these things. And this is just to give you a rough idea of what can be done in Blacksmith. I'm not going to sit here and do the entire hair morphs, but just to give you a good idea of how you can. So once I'm done with this, everything that I have changed here is now saved here in my right side adjustment. If I double click on this, it shows me that my minimum strength is zero, my maximum strength is 100. Those are pretty standard normals. Um, so that when we bring that into Dive Studio, you'll see that be the same. And here, if I'm completely done, well, let's add another one just to make sure. So here are my morphs, I'll add one more. I'll call it my left side. Adjustment. And I will now lock what I've already done over there. And I will now open this one up. And I will select my picker so that I can pick this left side. And then make sure I'm on this morph, my morphing tools, and I'm going to move it out and up, and then I'm going to rotate a little bit as a bulk. Then I'm going to use a little bit of my touch-up tools in here and just kind of clean these pieces up. That would be a lot thorough of a project to actually go through move this around and look at each one of these hairs as I'm doing this would be a proper way to do these. 
But for this, I'm just wanting to show you kind of the changes of how to make morphs and get those back into DAS Studio. So once I'm done moving these around, I am ready to export these morphs. So I'm going to do a right click and I'm going to say export my morphs and I'm going to give it a new name. I'm going to call this one my Vegas, let's see, VG Hair Morph 3 and I'm going to save that. And it's going to go through and ask me about saving each one of these individually. I'll go on and save that one again. And then when I go over here, I can do a refresh and go to my edit figure or object. Morph Loader Pro. Tell it those morph files that I have just created that I want to bring in. I can bring these two in individually, which is the best way here. So I'm going to open those, tell it to accept, and now I can see those over here as morphs that I brought in. And there's not a whole lot of movement there, um, but there is some. And then I can go in here to settings and change that to be a 0 to 100%. I can see how that hair is moving there on the left side. I can see how this hair is moving on the right. And then if I want to save those, I can go down to um, save as a support asset and go through the typical ways of saving those morphs just so they will show up the next time. But since I'm going to work on these a little bit longer and be more meticulous, I'm not going to do that right now, but I could do that here so that they would show up each time that I open this hair. I hope you have enjoyed today's quick tutorial on hair morphs and hope to hear from you on other things that you would like to see. Thanks for joining us.